2018 Havoc. Um, I've done quite a few things to this, but uh, today what we're going to talk about are some tires. Um, the tires that come on here are actually really good ITP tires. These are the Ultra Cross R Specs. However, um, a lot of people complain that they push. They're really terrible in uh, soft pack and mud snow. They're an atrocity. So I decided to get some new tires. Um, one of the other challenges that I've had with this uh, tire is, as you can see, where is the size on there? It's upside down, but it's a 28 by 10. And I got my bubble gauge leveled on here. And if you really look at this, that is at best what I'm getting. 26 and a quarter. Now, my side by side is about 1,950 pounds, and these tires are ran at 10 pounds in the front and 12 psi in the back. Um, and even unmounted, which I'll show you guys later, it's uh, nowhere near 20, 28 inches. I think unmounted with no weight on it. They come in right at 27 and a quarter, so I lose about a half an inch uh, when with weight on it at 10 pounds and 12 pounds respectively. So, pretty excited. I've been uh, waiting for this for a while. Took some money to save up and uh, bought some new tires. So, new tires that I bought are right there. Sedona Ripsaw. 28 by 10 by 14 and I mean these things are freaking burly let me take this t ruler off just to give you an idea that these tires have about 200 uh, 350 miles on them that's my pinky and yeah I don't have a gauge but that's my pinky and it barely doesn't even come up to the knuckle of my uh, pinky these things it's twice the depth. Um, these things are 28 by 10 by 14. Um, they have a one and an eighth inch lug. So I mean, these things are pretty pretty burly. It's got uh, sipes on it. Pretty hard compound. Everything I've read about these things and reviews I've watched said people are getting significant uh, wear out of them. And even at 1,500 to 2,000 miles, they're uh, barely wore down halfway. So. I mean, you can tell by the side profile, these things are pretty pretty gnarly, especially when you compare them to uh, these tire right here. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> Drop the camera. Um, I mean, there's a significant size difference and just wear compound. Um, I'm hoping for a lot better uh, traction. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys mounted. Um, one thing I did want to show you is... My clearance with these tires is, uh, let me get a ruler here for you guys, is right at, right under 12 inches, so I'm at 11 and a half. Now, I don't have my shocks cranked up all the way. They're about halfway. Literally, I've left them from factory height. Um, come around back. Uh, let's push this down a little bit. And the back is right at about... I don't know, 11 and 7 eighths, 11 and 3 quarters. So we'll see where these guys come in. Uh, and in the next uh, video while I'm editing, I will show these compared side by side unmounted. So, great difference. Factory tire, whoops. Factory tire is 45.4. Um, and these tires are, I would say, definitely heavier. And the rip saws on the bead locks are. Oops, I'm pushing out. 55.8. So about a 10 pound difference between the two, but I mean, just significant height difference. Significant height difference. Compound's gonna be heavier, and I think uh, these bead locks are gonna be pretty, uh, pretty sweet from tusk. All right, just want to show you what I got here for clearance. These are the uh, factory tires, and I got roughly a finger clearance. Um, steering wheel is pretty close to 
locked. That's locked to the corner, so got about a finger's worth of clearance there. Um, turned all the way in. Going outward obviously is never an issue. Um, but let me turn it the other way. A full lock. And the tire I just mounted. And there's roughly about the same. So doesn't have any major issues, but that's uh, the tire mounted on there.
All right, so here's my uh, after review. I uh, definitely say I put put the tires through its paces. 50 miles, a lot of hard pack like this, and uh, obviously you'll see the uh, videos. I'm gonna try and loop them all together, but it did really well. I mean, I took some chunks out of them, definitely, but they are really soft, so. You can kind of see, I don't know how they would wear overall, but um, I mean, that one got pretty chewed. Like I said, that's uh, 50 miles on them. I was running in two wheel drive for a while, bent that guy. Um, they like to grip, they throw rocks, they grip really well. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning, they do turn on a dime. Even on asphalt, wherever I point it, that tire goes. Um, no more oversteering at all. Completely eliminated. Um, these tires did amazing on uh, some rocks, and you'll see the video. Um, but overall, really happy with the tires. Um, cannot complain at all. Um, yeah, what can I say? They did really well. Um, 28 by 10 Sedona Ripsaws. RTs, um, eight ply tire, and they measured right at 27 and uh, about a half, 27 and three eighths ish. So, again, real happy with them. So, um, thanks a lot, guys, and have a good one.